today we are celebrating our 17th lustrum, and it's indeed a very special day for Tilburg University. Just a few hours ago, our Majesty Queen Beatrix visited our campus. She revealed the statue of Marga Klompe in our Dante building. This was a fitting tribute to the 100th anniversary of the birth of Marga Klompe, the first female minister of the Netherlands. Imagine there's no countries It isn't hard to do Nothing to kill or die for And no religion to Imagine all the people Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies. On behalf of all the students of the ROC Fashion Department, I wish you all a very warm welcome at our fashion show in honor of Marga Klompe. Let me tell you first a bit about how it all started. Well, our teacher asked us to participate in a project with the university and told us that we had to design for Marga Kompe. Uh, I'm sorry, Marga who? Was the first question that popped in almost everybody's mind. After a bit of research on Google, we were very surprised. Yes, a strong woman with an amazing resume. There's no doubt about that. But we didn't see the link with fashion right away. <laughs> but then our art teacher came up with a different take on the whole project. What if, if we design in touch of Marga Klompe? Marga had an incredible vision and desire for unity and harmony. So what would Marga think about current social is, uh, issues in today's society? That became the main question that we had to ask ourselves during the design process. Now, you can understand that every single student had his own answer to that certain question. That resulted in some very interesting concepts. <laughs> concepts like taking a break of today's fast-moving society, equal rights between women and men, respect, racism, overconsumption, cloning and eco-fashion. Later on in the design process, the African fabrics by Flisco were added. For the fact that this would increase the multicultural aspect of the collection and for our international guests. And also Marga did a lot of good work for international relations. So at first there were a lot of doubts coming from the students as each of them designed their piece in their own fabric and had their own ideas. So they asked themselves if the African fabric would not affect their original concepts and designs. But it actually worked out quite well, and the collection became a whole collection. One student even said that they weren't single pieces anymore, but it became a complete collection. Moreover, it was an honor to design for Marga Klompe and in her thought. But now it's time to let you see it all for yourself. <laughs> and I will stop rambling. <laughs> So I will now leave you to it and I will say nothing more than be amazed and enjoy the show. Thank you. Madam President, Excellencies, distinguished guests, our dream has the size of freedom are the poetic lines with which you gave inspiration to the people of Liberia. Liberia, 
the country of freedom. The country of hope for so many who found refuge in it after the dark days of slavery. The connection of your country with the United States speaks for itself, but so does the connection with Europe. It was the Dutch East Indian Company that was among those firms trading slaves from West Africa to the Americas. It has deeply affected the realities in your country. As you have, Marga Klompe demanded respect for the human dignity of all, asked for all of us to carry responsibility for justice and peace, individuals, politicians, companies. We all have our role to play. As you are, she was a spiritual woman of faith, and like you, she was a pragmatic realist. And as you, she was and is supported by a strong, supportive, and loyal sister. Your achievements are no small feat. You have shown the world that women can lead, that African women can lead, that women can lead countries out of conflict, that women can play a pivotal role in bringing peace, in making peace, in keeping peace. That women are good economists, good financial analysts, good strategists. That women care as daughters. <laughs> that women care as daughters, mothers, wives, partners, and as leaders. In Europe, we look at your achievements and wonder, is this the new Africa? The new Africa won the Nobel Prize for Peace in 2011. Europe won the Nobel Prize for Peace in 2012. This surely provides a basis for a partnership for peace and prosperity between our continents. <clears throat> Madam, I congratulate you on your bold and courageous steps, which will continue to inspire the people of our continents to believe that peace is possible. Our dream has the size of freedom, indeed. But reality needs exceptional people with your courage and inspiration. <clears throat> By virtue of the authority granted to us by law and by the regulations of the university in accordance with the decision by the Doctorate Board of Tilburg University, I hereby promote you, Excellency Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, to Doctor Honoris Causa and bestow upon you all the rights that by law or custom are or will be attached to the doctorate. In evidence, I clothe you with the kappa of Tilburg University and hand you the certificate signed by the Rector Magnificus and the Honorary Doctorate Supervisor and reaffirmed by the seal of the university.
again express my sincere thanks and gratitude to the rector who visited us in Liberia and who initiated what we see today. I also express thanks to the executive board, the faculty, and staff of Tilburg for the opportunity to join in celebrating this 85th anniversary of this institution. May you grow from strength to strength. You honor me by bestowing upon me, along with two notable academicians, Professor Emeritus Serpata Dasgupta, Professor Kido Vekaguen, the distinguished Dr. Honoris Causa degree, recognizing me for leadership and for my interest in education and social responsibility. I humbly accept this distinction on behalf of the people of Liberia. You in this room will be able to learn from our experience, will be able to take some of those experiences, no matter how difficult, in a research and analysis that will lead to interventions that will lead to better approaches and policies to be able to preserve world peace. We all do so in the spirit of the visionary Margaret Clumpy as global citizens. And we'd like to thank Professor Dr. Marsham Van Rissen, the endowed chair of Margaret Clumpy on international social responsibility by contributing, promoting her legacy in favor of international human rights and justice, social welfare, and social responsibility. I thank you, Mr. Rector, for this. Day.